if the domestic and external responses to the pandemic have to be sustained for most of the next fiscal year, the Jamaican economy will contract significantly. The scenarios indicate that we'll contract somewhere a little more than 3% in the next fiscal year. The central bank governor on Wednesday outlined an eight-pronged proactive approach and is assuring Jamaicans that there is adequate liquidity in both Jamaican and foreign currencies. Eight measures were outlined, five in relation to local currency and three in relation to foreign exchange. We will continue to support the foreign exchange needs of businesses in the real sector through direct sales to authorized dealers and cambios as needed. At the same time, we have placed a halt on investment transactions that require the purchase of foreign exchange. Second, with effect from the 19th of March 2020, we have temporarily increased the limit on the foreign currency net open positions of authorized dealers by five percentage points. This effectively raises a limit on the positions of these institutions, either long or short, to 25% of regulatory capital and allows authorized dealers to provide more foreign currency to their clients. Third, we stand ready to expand the volume of foreign currency swap arrangements with authorized dealers, thereby providing them with more foreign exchange liquidity. At 24th of March this year, the stock of outstanding swap contracts total US 86 million. In relation to the local currency liquidity, the BOJ governor announced measures aimed at expanding access to credit. The bank has commenced a bond buying program where we will purchase DOJ securities on the secondary market from financial institutions which hold these instruments. With effect from 18th of March 2020, the bank removed the limit on the amounts that deposit-taking institutions can borrow overnight without being charged a penal rate. Liquidity support to DTIs will therefore be made available on demand at the prevailing rate of 2.5%, limited only by collateral. Continuing, Mr. Baz outlined the reintroduction of a longer-term lending facility to deposit-taking institutions like banks and building societies for up to six months. This enhances the ability of these institutions to secure their liquidity needs over a longer time horizon. Fourth, we will reactivate an intermediation facility where BOJ will use its balance sheet to facilitate transactions between holders of liquid balances and others who require liquidity if needed. This facility should support a more even distribution of liquidity in the financial system in a context where institutions who could not access interbank loans because of limits placed on them by lenders can now do so indirectly with the central bank standing in the middle of the transaction. To date, the BOJ has made available $57 billion to help shore up the economy. Carrie Ann Simpson, Frontline News.